Welcome to AVAST 5 Beta 3. This is Chris 122380 and this is my first technical video. The big major difference between AVAST 4 and AVAST 5 is the graphical user interface. Always had trouble getting the hang of AVAST 4. Um, really good virus definitions really good virus scan but a horrible GUI I just struggle again with it I've been running um, AVAS 5 since beta 2 and um, it runs really really good difference between beta 2 and beta 3 I think were probably bug fixes because I hadn't really noticed much um, the first thing I always change is under settings part of the screen is going to be cut off but it's not a big deal we see what we need to so um is up under settings and then updates and by default it's set to only automatically update the engine and virus definitions but since this is also a beta i set it so that the programs the program is automatically updated now you can click these, my computer is always connected to the internet or whatever depending on the type of system you are using. And then um, something new that I've never seen before in AVEST, so I'm assuming it's probably new to 5, and that is the silent gaming mode. So if you're playing a game and it catches a virus on the system or something like that, or it updates the virus definitions or it updates the program it's not going to bother you because it's in silent mode then you have statistics um, which shows you your um, here it probably showing the scanning um, yeah it's showing the file system shield um, so how much you've been on the file system how much data has been going on um, this basically gives you the statistical information. Then scanning your computer. Mm, um, removable media, that's great to scan USB drives, those kind of things. Um, whenever installing an antivirus program, I always run the quick scan first. And if it catches anything, I may run the quick scan multiple times before running a full system scan. Now, um, the boot time scan I'm not a fan of, in part because if there is a rootkit or something that it cleans during the boot time scan, sometimes the machine won't come back up. I'm not a total fan of boot time scan. Now I don't know if they fixed part of that with rootkits and AVAS 5. Um, this is just an overview of the GUI. I've not actually put it on a system with a bunch of viruses on it. I just use it to protect the machine from getting them and it works fairly well for that. Then of course you have scan logs which I won't go into. It shows when you last scanned the system, what it may have found, and so on. Real time shield I really like. I like it better. Um, that's one of the things I really like about AVEST over say ABG is its real-time scan plus AVG I always found confusing when it found a virus. AVS finds a virus there's no doubt what it's doing um, it'll say right on the screen block this virus or delete or deleted this file or whatever or put in quarantine or it may even ask you where AVG never quite understood it. One of the things that always uh, one of the things I did too is all the ones that were shield that I could do this with I went to that had export expert settings I clicked on those and I went to uh, I think it was packers yeah and I enabled all packers so it's gonna check all of them and then I went to I think it was let's see sens uh, sensitivity and I set it to high and then see because medium or normal low off and then you have high and then there is 
scan for potentially unwanted programs. So something that might ex continually act suspicious. Um, Avis 5 as well does spyware scans. But here are all the different types of shields and then maintenance. And so you can tell when the definitions are updated. But it says right here, um, the actual number of malware, malware samples um, that AVAS can detect is much higher as a single virus definition can identify um, tens, hundreds, or even thousands of unique samples. So it doesn't do just um, viruses anymore. They also have some malware definitions and the like in there too. And you have your virus chest. Um, this is where virus detection or viruses may be held if, if there's no clean or there's no way to block them or whatever. That would be it. And then here's about it, um, the program versions and information. So this is, uh, oh, and then you have, of course, the main settings up here for the main thing and then help if you need help, which there's no major need for help um, for it. But. And this is the test of AVAST um, free antivirus 5 beta 3.